Greg with Superior Cleaning Equipment. We're out here on a site of a customer that we've had an installation of a full closed loop biological wash rack. Uh, been installed for about a year. We decided to come out today and show it to you a little bit and show you how it's working and give you kind of a rundown of it. Out behind me here, we've got wash pads on both sides. Right and the left that feed into a clean out pit. We like this style of clean out pit. This particular company uses a uh, chemical uh, uh, that's based on con that's based as a treatment for concrete. And you can see kind of coming into this pit, the difference is amazing. And you can see we take it out with a belt skimmer and then it's connected into a uh, that's, that's connected into a tote tank here. And it's concentrated in this tote tank and then they take that and they uh, they reuse that product. And then from here gravity feeds into two stages, two more stages. It runs in through uh, the cleanup pit to the first stage and the second stage. And then it's going to be pulled inside to our treatment equipment. Uh, and we'll go in there and take a look at that shortly. Over here on the outside of the wall, we've got two water blasters that are 500 PSI at 25 gallons a minute for heavy, uh, heavy dirt applications to pull that dirt off uh, quickly. And then down there, we've got two hot water uh, diesel fired units, Those all, all of these machines have remotes on the wall. Um, and they've got, uh, in the middle there, they've got uh, also then 3,500 3, 3, PSI hot water down on the far side. So you've got a total of six remote stations here. You've got uh, two uh, high volume, 25 gallon a minute, 500 PSI units. You've got two rinse units, three gallon a minute, or excuse me, four gallon a minute at 2,000 PSI. We've got two hot water inch units at six gallon a minute at 3,500 PSI. This place stays very busy. Uh, they wash a lot of equipment and they needed to have a system that was uh, very productive, as low maintenance as possible, that would clean the water. You can tell from just right in here how well we're cleaning the water and, and we'll go into a little bit more detail inside. These use heavy duty U door pumps that can handle solids. Um, they're coming out of, uh, out of this holding tank here. So not only do we have the clean out pit and the, and the two uh, compartments and the pits out there to separate, now we're coming into this thousand gallon comb bottom tank. And then uh, we're connecting those water blasters into these two 500 gallon tanks. And then we're still continuing on into our first water based system, which is a CLT uh, 600. This is basically just a comb bottom tank to give us more separation and dwell time. And then from there we go over into a holding tank, a transfer tank. And that transfer tank, we brought up into a CLV 603 full recycling system. And what this does is this, this is a biological treatment system with a pH controller, a uh, digital automatic pH controller. It's got all the pumps, the air flow, the sun, the transfer pump, and the aeration pump. Uh, build on the system. You can see it's a little dirty. It's been here for a while, but that's okay. Uh, from here, what, we, what happens in here is this tank and this tank and that tank all automatically purge uh, every night. So we've got a lot of solid settling. We're aerating this with microbes and uh, with what's, what the water maze calls an air stick, which gives you millions of micro bubbles uh, put into the system. Same thing here in the CLV 30 system. We're running in, we're aerating this system as well. The last stage is a, a thousand gallon holding tank or fresh water tank that is ozonated by the CLV 603. We've got a filter loop on here. It's a media and a carbon filter that we built for uh, basically to just run uh, on, a, on a timer uh, the water through there for any, uh, take it down to about 20 microns. Um, so that kind of takes care of the treatment system coming down to the system on the bio side. And then in here, in some of the equipment, you can see this is two of the hot water machines. These are land to SEHW diesel fired units with electric motors that are uh, that have the Landcom wireless remote. This allows the operator to take the remote and start and stop the units uh, remotely uh, from up to literally two, three hundred feet away. Uh, it's a safety issue. It's also uh, uh, less expensive on the front, uh, installation-wise, you don't need the hard wire and the conduit. So adjustable thermostat control, uh, pump burner off and on, you can see large fuel tank, belt drive, 15 horsepower motor, very, very industrial system uh, if you don't have natural gas or propane 
this is the unit that we sell, 9 out of 10 times. There's two of those. You can see that if you sell off the unit that has a Landcom remote with the, the antenna on the back side here, over here, is the uh, Landed SCA. These are the cold water rinse units. They are 3 gallon a minute, 1,000 PSI. They're used only in rinse applications. Again, Landcom remote, uh, stainless steel cabinet, stainless steel frame, belt drive pump, just like the SCHWs. Uh, they use the heavy duty land of pumps on them, seven year warranty. And again, the land comp on there. Uh, so, you know, what we wanted to do here was have a high volume, uh, a real high productive system that's closed loop. Uh, the rinse water that comes that's generated by these machines, uh, because these, this particular customer is a very good user, we lose water to evaporation and runoff. So very rarely, we don't have any, except for the wooded rains, we don't have any overflow coming out of the system. Basically, the fresh water units add any water that we need. Of course, we're living in Arizona, so we've got heat. So, you know, uh, evaporation is not a problem like it would be in some other areas. So we're very pleased, uh, you know, with this installation. It's outperformed all of our expectations. The customer is happy. We wanted to show you this unit kind of as a real world example. We didn't come in here and clean it up. It's not brand new. Uh, it's about a year old, but you can tell in the, the, in the clarity of the tank, uh, just by seeing through that, that's the finished water right there, uh, that the system does a great job. I love biology. Uh, the microbes are an excellent source of treating wastewater in a lot of our you know, basic heavy equipment wash water applications. They do a very good job on soaps. Uh, they do a good, very good job, obviously, on oils. And just the process, the reason I like this installation is it's so visual. From that outside clean out pit from what you're starting with to this two-stage pump, to the two-stage pit, excuse me, and coming into this uh, array of one, two, three, four, five tanks, you can really get an idea of, of what settling and what biology will do. Uh, just very little filtration on the end. And um, the land equipment has performed great. We come out here and do a monthly PM on this equipment. And, uh, Again, our main concern is that the customer is happy, and they are, and it's very rewarding for us, and we hope that uh, if you have any, any needs with cleaning your environmental equipment, recycling, pre-treatment, pressure washers, parts washers, or truck washes, that you give us a call and give us a chance to give you a quote, and uh, we'd love to be your vendor. Thanks.